I am the founder of Operation Hero, and I started it in to honor my husband, First Sergeant Tracy Stapley, who passed away on July 3rd of 2013 in Qatar. He was a 26-year Army Reserve member. To continue in his legacy of giving back, I started Operation Hero to give back to organizations that have helped us, um, especially right after he passed away. The boot display started a year ago. Our first showing was at the air show and I felt that our state and our community needed to be aware of how many service members we have lost since 2001, so 9-11 of 2001. And to date, we have 240 service members that we have lost. We have given the families an opportunity to paint or decorate a boot and tell the story of their service member and make it a little bit more personalized for them. Overseas, I lost six men in our battalion, three from my company. Um, there's a set of boots here and a photo of one of the veterans that was, I was his squad leader. Um, and I just looked down and seen his photo when I first stepped in here to do the interview and it really hit me hard. Uh, it's difficult uh, uh, when we lose our, our military, obviously, to war. And, and that's what uh, Memorial Day is all about. You know, a lot of people will mistake Memorial Day to Veterans Day. You know, let's don't forget that Memorial Day is for those that have fallen for our country and uh, paid that ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. You know, when you're in combat, you don't have time to, you don't get days off or weeks off to mourn about people that you lost during the war. You know, we lose men during the war and the next day we're back at it again. And, uh, and I think that's what takes a toll on us during war is you just have to continue your mission, continue mission, you know, and continue mission to me here and why we named our nonprofit continue mission is continue mission to life and healing. You know, we're letting the veterans know, you know, we need to continue on for living for those that sacrifice for our country and continue healing and getting the help you need. Yeah, Tracy was a very giving person, um, always willing to help out. Disneyland was his favorite place to be, and so he actually had a t-shirt with the Disney characters and the flag, and he wore that every year for the 4th of July, and we actually put that in with him when we buried him. Um, he was a guy that was known as Dance Dad to, for his daughter, Kennedy, and the biggest sports supporter of our son, Trace. And he was the guy that would paint his toenails to represent his son's, our son's soccer team when they were in tournaments. But he was just the most patriotic guy, the most giving and loving guy I knew. And I'm just lucky that I got to spend 20 plus years with him. Um, and I think that's a lot of things that uh, people don't understand is what the families go through. You know, when your Gold Star families that lost loved ones overseas and what they went through uh, is extremely difficult. And that's why on Memorial Day, we really need to uh, remember those that we've lost, uh, that sacrificed for our country. And uh, during Memorial Day, you know, you lower your flag at half mast in the morning and then at noon you will raise your flag up to full staff to let them know where you're going to carry on their memory and we are not going to forget about them and we are here and we're going to hold that flag high for their sacrifice and, and continue on. The display will be out at McKady Hospital in the main entrance until May 31st. We would love for you to come out and make it a part of your Memorial Day holiday.